Hey Photoshop fans, I'm Justin Z, and here's another important video about the tools and techniques of masking. In the last video, I showed you the basics of setting up a pen tool path. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the different things you can do with it. Generally, you're going to make different types of masks, which serve mainly as a way of manipulating pieces of your image without making anything permanent. There are two types of masks. One is pixel, the other is vector. I will explain the uses for both of them as we go along, but first is pixel masking. To create this, you go to the Paths tab next to Layers, and you will see my path called Justin's Face. I have no relation to this guy. Press and hold Command for the Mac, Control for the PC, and click. Now that you have done that, you get little marching ants around your path. Go back to Layer, then go to the bottom, and click on Add Layer Mask, and voila! This mask is useful because you have different options for modifying the mask, such as the brush tools. Remember the principles of how a mask works. White adds, black subtracts. If you use the brush with white, you will add to your mask. If you use black, you will take away from it. These also work with the pencil tools, ellipse tools, and shape tools. Those are the basics of pixel masking, so in the next video, I'm going to go over vector masking. Thanks for watching. You can send any requests or questions about Photoshop to requests at mahalo.com, and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe below.